All right, so I was going to write a full review for this game. Uh, it's been almost three years since it came out. I can't even record the shit. It is. It was running fine earlier, but all of a sudden I put OBS up and it just crashes the game. It crashed the game twice, and then the game crashed my computer while I was recording it. And one of the clips is literally corrupted. I can't even. I, I can't even. I can't even scroll through it or nothing. I can't even get the video editor to, to bring it up. So this is gonna be my review. I hate this fucking game. Okay, I even bought the Ultimate Edition when it came out. I figured, you know what, might as well go ahead and give it a shot. I would show footage, but I just can't get it recorded. So this is going to be the review. I'm not even going to go through all the trouble. Okay, number one. Uh, okay, let me just... This game is just ungodly difficult, and it literally is a shit show in terms of AI. And, you know, I've watched all the reviews online. Some I skipped because I knew, I knew some people were going to say something. Angry Joe, I didn't even bother watching his reviews. I knew that I knew exactly what he was going to say right off the bat. I'm not going to repeat anything, but I was not happy with the way this game came out. Now, at launch, the game ran fine. Um... I wasn't looking forward to the campaign. I was looking more, look more, more forward to uh, battle mode. In uh, the campaign, it's been much what I thought it was going to be. I just, I didn't like the story. I didn't like where it went. Uh, but the thing I realized when I played this game, this was not made for Doom fans. Like, I know it sounds crazy, but it wasn't. This was made for, like, a whole new audience. But the problem is that, like, this was made for the hyper-skilled audience. Like the hyper-skilled gamers nowadays. Like the Twitch gamers and shit like that. That's what this is made for. And uh, maybe one day when they fix this game. Because I, I, I tried running a ray tracing. I ran a number of the ways. It says 60 frames per second up at the top of the screen. But it just did not run properly. Like I, I can't even get a steady frame rate on the screen. I guess when OBS is open it, it messes it up. I have no clue. I just It just... The really old Doom games ran perfect. This one, I just can't get it ring, ring, ring properly. You know, it feels like they made the same mistakes they made with Doom 2016, which wasn't that big of a deal. 2016 was a great game. Had a couple issues, but not bad. This one, like, it, it feels like if you go back and play the game, play it again, you'll know what I'm talking about. It feels like they made they took Fortnite and just made Doom out of it. That's what it felt like. Because the sound effects are all goofy. You know, they feel like arcade sound effects, which I get was the point to a certain degree, but it doesn't match. It feels like it was made for kids. Yeah, I know it's bloody and gory and all that shit, but kids like that stuff anyway. I mean, play Mortal Kombat, you know what I mean? It feels it was made for that. You know? So... It's supposed to be hell on earth. It's supposed to be like, I don't want to say epic, but it's supposed to be like having an epic feel to it. It doesn't feel epic at all. It feels like, okay, it's a cartoon series now. And they throw this backstory stuff in there and, you know, they try to make it more epic than it's supposed to be. Well, not feeling epic, if that makes any sense. It feels like a huge letdown. And then to top it off, they keep adding shit to the game. Like, oh, here's more skins. You know, two and a half years after they come out, they're still adding skins to the fucking game. And I'm like, who cares about the fucking skins? It's a single player game. And then they had two DLCs of the game. I beat one of them. I didn't even beat the other. I have them both. I didn't even bother playing the second one. I played Ninja Gods Part 1, which is ungodly difficult. I thought it was hard already as it is. It's really fucking hard. And then they throw a clickbait ending in there. They throw the evil twin storyline out there, which I'm like, really? Who the fuck is this for? I've, I've talked to new Doom fans. They love that shit. The old Doom fans, they're like, what? And then I didn't even play Ninja Gods Part 2 because I was already pissed off at the ending of Ninja Gods Part 1. I, I think I've seen the ending of Ninja Gods Part 2 on YouTube somewhere. Everybody showed it, so I was like, what's the point of playing it? And number one, they said it made it easier, which is fine, which is fine. But the thing is, the story is the part that just kills it. And I'm like, I just, I don't know. I, it's, 
And, you know, and now they got the controversy with Mick Gordon, which is another issue that I'm not going to get into, but I'm not surprised that this controversy is with this game already up the ass. It's just, and it just feels like they tried to make, you know, something to appeal to Fortnite fans, but it's like, I mean, it probably did, but then it, it gets guys like me to go away. I go back and play Doom 1. I think it's a great game. I never liked Doom 2, to be honest with you. It's not a bad game. It's just, you know, but I think when Doom Eternal came out and everybody started reviewing Doom 2 again, they were like, yeah, this didn't hold up as much as we thought it would. And I think it's fair. You know, I like Doom 3 for what it is. It's not the best in the series. It's definitely the black sheep, but still a great game. In fact, I think it's aged better than uh, some of the other ones have in some ways. And Doom 2016, I love that game. I think it's a great start. Um, it just sad it took too fucking long to make, but I thought that was a good game. And I thought it got all the attention it deserved. It was a great game. I thought Snap Map could have gotten more appreciation. Like, there's why I don't do stand-up videos anymore. It's because I exhausted the shit out of it. There's nothing to do with stand-up anymore. It's done. And then T Eternal comes out. I wasn't super hyped for it. I thought I saw some problems with it right off the bat. But I figured, you know what? I'll wait. Let me see how things turn out. It came out at the worst time. It came out right at the beginning of the pandemic, which probably says a sign about the game. Like, this game probably should have had, you know, get hit harder a little bit. I thought the battle mode was great. I know I'm the outlier, and I thought the battle mode was a great addition. I think they should have made that part free, just so that it would get more attention. Uh, but the campaign, Jesus Christ. You know, I mean, to be fair, I think the campaign, the way it's set is great for nightmare mode, but for the rest of the game, it's just a shit show. It's just, you know... I, I to, to be fair, I I, I streamed the game three times. First time I couldn't beat it because there's too much going on, so you get a chance to finish it. That says the game is a little too hard right off the bat. Like it's a little too hard. They should have like taken half the enemies out and maybe dumbed the combat down a little bit because it's way too tight. It is way too tight for nightmare mode. I understand, but there's a nightmare mode in the game, so why does every mode have to be like that all of a sudden? And then. You know, and to top it off, like, they force you to play a very specific way. I'm not a fan of that because that's not Doom. You know, Doom is about letting everyone have a shot at the game and everyone to be able to play the game and beat the game. Even the most casual, casual players should have a chance at it. That I do believe that. This game does not give you that option at all. And, you know, I, I've heard rumors about what's going on with its software. I've heard they're trying to remake Quake. I hope they correct what they did with this game. Because from what I've heard, they've heard a lot of flack over fans over this. Because what's happened with Doom Fanbase now is that they split in two. There's two Doom Fanbases now. They went the same rate. They went the same way Sonic did when they got two fan bases. One that started with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Thought that was amazing, which is not. It's not that good of a game. And then you got the ones who started with the classic games like me who actually enjoy the series for what it is. Like, now they did that with Doom now. Like, classic fans like me enjoy the classic series, but I enjoyed the series what it is. I like I like the what it is. And then you got, Finn just started with basically this game. Some, I think, started with Doom 2016. I think it started with this game, and now they claim all ownership of the series for some reason. No joke. Like, there's all these, like, videos of people, like, beating the game way faster than you're supposed to, like... How many times do we see people beat the Marauder in two seconds? Like, really? And you know what? I got into an argument with one guy over this. I, 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 I left the argument alone right away. I literally told the guy, I've been playing Doom since 1995. He literally called me a Call of Duty fan. I'm not making that up. If you know me, I don't like Call of Duty. I never, I can't stand the Call of Duty franchise. I, I, I played Warzone 2.0 last month. Uh, stream, and I, I like Warzone 2.0. I think it's a big step in the right direction. They got to make some fixes with it, but I thought it was a big step in the right direction. It just shows you how bad it is, and you can't even you can't even run the game properly no more. I tried. You can run it without any other software going, I guess, but when you run OBS or something else, it just crashes the game completely. Hell, I was recording it. It crashed my whole PC. My PC is a beast of system. Okay, I got a 3700 X in here with a 3070. 
with 32 gigs, of, 32, gig, 32 gigs of RAM, high speed, and it's not overheating. I mean, I'm not sweating. My AC unit's turned off, so I don't know what's going on. I just... Well, anyway, my, my review is I can't stand the game. I think it's a big step in the wrong direction. I had a feeling it was going to be that way before it came out, but, you know, you hold your Christmas until afterwards. This is my review. I can't stand the game. I think it's bad. I think I think it's I think it's a step in the wrong direction. Hopefully, after the controversies and everything, they go back in the right direction and start giving us games we should be getting. Because I heard they're also remaking Doom Three, and they're and they're, they're slowing things down. I hope they do that. Because, like this game was a huge step in the wrong direction. Hopefully, you know. I I think the game is done. I think they're not going to do anything with it. If they if they if they do anything with it, they should fix everything in the game. Cut the enemies down a bit, you know, for other difficulties. Nightmare mode's fine. I'm not. I don't care about nightmare mode. You can have that the way the way it is. But the other difficulties, tone things down, take some enemies out, stop making it so strict, and stop with the fucking updates. Like the only update this game needs right now is just an update to fix the game. Period. Because it doesn't run properly at all. Like it might run without OBS, but once you turn OBS on with the ray tracing, it just runs like a slideshow. You can't even run it no more. So that's it. That's my review. Thank you for joining me. Have a great time. Sorry, this review is almost three years late, but I had other things to focus on during the pandemic and other stuff. So and if you can't, just uh, go check me out on Twitch. I, I do want to so much more. I just I sent it to YouTube afterwards. That's the best I can tell you. Okay, anyway, that's it. Review over. Have a nice day. Bye.